Hi guys, uh, once again this is the fifth video and today I'm going to show you a, a simple application that I have built in order to use for testing or different environments. So as you can see it is all written in Python and I didn't have to use uh, the, the Qt designer which it's this. I didn't use it because you can do it or you can write directly a Python code in order to construct your graphical user interfaces. I decided to do it manually without an ID like a Qt designer. So as, uh, here as you can see first of all I'm importing the Qt libraries Qt4, PyQt4 and then I'm, here I'm going to I'm creating some layouts then I'm, I'm creating some components like buttons and uh, a text div also <clears throat> and then I'm using uh, I'm adding the components these ones to the to the layout in order to have a, a, a good distribution in the in the in the form so then I'm, I'm adding some other components I'm going to share with you this this code and because it is gonna be a, a simple web browser I'm adding the WebKit uh, for as you can see the WebKit from PyQt to the application then I'm, I'm adding a progress bar then a status bar and oops here it is the connection between signals uh, components and events then I have a, a, a method which hides or shows the the progress bar when the the web page is it's completely loaded and then I have a regular expressions here in order to when the when the user enters some text in the in the URL bar uh, the, the the web browser uh, looks for these words in Google in, in the Google search engine. Then I have here the the launcher of the application and the name of the of our application which is a web browser and so I'm going to show you how does it work. Uh, this is the the script the final script and I'm going to do it in the virtual machine that we have already configured. So this is from on the one of macOS and I'm going to show you how we can use our script. I'm going to go to desktop and at least as you can see I have here the file and all I need to do is to hit to run python lmx browser.py and hit enter and as you can see something is launching and well done. Here it is. This is the application that I'm using to show you how we can create cross-platform applications and as you can see here if I want to write something for example pink ponies I have the the words here in the search engine of Google and then I just need to hit a look or search in Google and as you can see it works pretty good and when I I go to a link and the progress bar is shown here downside. And well, as you can see, it is going and going and going till the page is completely loaded. And as you can see here, we can go down, we can go over the page and everything works fine. If I want to go here, for example, in my own page, my personal page, here you are. It is working good. Okay, it's going good, as you can see. So, okay, that's it for this video and I'm going to show you how does it works in the other platforms using Ubuntu and using Windows 
with the same script as I show you now. And please subscribe, give a like and thumbs up and share the video with your friends.